All right, you guys, what is good? What is up? Jessica James with a Z here, looking pretty festive in the background here. I got a little Christmas tree up because it is the holiday season. Uh, so we are here to start off the holiday season, uh, the Christmas season, with a live reaction to the new Indiana Jones 5 trailer. Um, so we now have an official name for the movie, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. And um, I was going to do a video a few days ago talking about the uh, the rumors and the leaks for this movie, but I never really got around to it. Now that the trailer is out, I'm probably just going to discuss those topics here. So we're going to live react to the trailer first, and then we're going to talk about some of the rumors and the leaks and whether or not I actually think that the uh, rumors might be true based on what we see in this trailer. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the live reaction to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Here we go in three, two, one. I miss the desert. I miss the sea. All right, I'm liking this so far. Like all of this, I miss it looks very in Indiana Jones. I like that scene there. That scene there, the colors, the atmosphere. That's good. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it looks like Indiana Jones. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. Ah, all right. I don't believe in magic. But a few times in my life seen things things i can't explain wait a minute is that cgi so much like younger much indiana believe. jones like what they did with leia and rogue one that's pretty cool it's how hard you believe it oh this looks really really good this looks really really good Oh, the theme. I love the theme. All right, that looks that looks really, really good. Like, it looks like what an Indiana Jones movie man? should look I'm like. Godfather. Get back. Okay. Okay, that, that's good. That, that, that's good. And the, the comedy, yeah, like, that. that's... Uh, that <laughs> that's uh that, that that's the type of comedy I expect from Indiana Jones. All right, so you know what? Um, this actually looks really really good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really really good. Um, from the standpoint of how an Indiana Jones movie should look, it's got the look down. There's some scenes that I really like the atmosphere. In fact, let me see if I can go ahead and. Uh, pull up a couple of those scenes that I really like the look and the atmosphere of it. Um, let's see. Yeah, right here, this bridge scene, this is really nice. You got some statues here in the background. It looks like they may be Greek in nature, maybe. Um, there's a statue earlier that I don't know where it was. No, not that. Um, oh, right here it is. See, that looks Greek to me. That looks, is that Athena? That might be Athena. Because you have the, no, wait a minute, that's a guy, isn't it? Might be, I can't tell. I thought it was Athena at first because it looks Greek and you have the, uh, the owl right here. And one of Athena's symbols is the owl. So... But I don't think it is. I think that's a mill. I think that's a mill statue so but it does it looks kind of greek to me um oh it's definitely greek yeah look at the column here that that's a greek column it's definitely greek 
It's definitely Greek. So, oh, this, I mean, this looks really, really, really good. This looks really, really good. Um, so let's go ahead and let's dive into some of the rumors, some of the uh, stuff surrounding this, uh, this movie, and um, some of the concerns that I have that, honestly, the trailer doesn't really dissuade me 100% from because there's some hints here that those rumors, those leaks could actually be true. So um, let's go ahead and dive into that. So if we move to where was she, where was she, where was she, where was she? Um, right there she is. Uh, no, I need... Uh, a little bit earlier, a little bit earlier. There she is. Let me get a better pick of her. Ah, too quick. There we go. All right. So, um, here we have this main female character. And of course, basically, uh, you know, the first two Indiana Jones movies had main female characters, um, that go along with Indy, of course. And, um, so here we have another main female character, and the rumor that I have heard regarding this character is that she's actually going to end up being Indiana Jones's successor, which does kind of throw into question the continuity, because of course you have the um, the whole situation with Shia LaBeouf's character, uh, Indiana Jones's son, and Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls, whether you like the movie or hate the movie, personally I think I probably like it a little bit more than most people. Um, I didn't think it was that terrible, but then again, you're talking to somebody who also likes the Star Wars prequels, so, you know, go figure. Um, so, it does kind of throw in the continuity as far as, like, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls, because they kind of set it up to where Shia LaBeouf's character, who is Indy's son, was going to be his successor, but now, now he's not really seen in the... They're probably going to mention him in the movie. He's probably off doing his own thing. Um with his mom and uh, they'll probably just mention him in an offhand comment. I, I don't think he's going to play a role in this. I wouldn't think um, I haven't heard anything about Shia LaBeouf coming back to reprise his role. That being said, there is talk that this female character here is actually going to be the, uh, the successor to Indiana Jones. And I, I don't know why we need a successor to Indiana Jones. It's not like Indiana Jones. is like a King or, anything you know it's not like he's a a ruler why does he need a successor he's an archaeologist that goes on adventures you know that's his thing why does he need a successor obviously it's because they want to pump out more movies and make more money but i i really don't like the idea of him having a successor i really don't like the idea of continuing past indiana jones the character i i just don't care for that whole idea i don't think it's necessary why does he need a successor i don't think he does but there is talk that she's going to be indy's successor and unfortunately one of the big rumors that has come out is that apparently there might be a time travel plot in this movie and um there is some scenes in this trailer where we see a younger indiana jones i think it's done with cgi probably similar to the same technology they used for Tarkin and Leia in Rogue One, uh, probably used that to give us a younger uh, Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones for the flashbacks. Um, and that's, I'm hoping that's all it is, that it's flashbacks. But if the time travel rumor is true, we could literally be traveling back in time to Indy's previous adventures. And the rumor is, is that somehow the timeline is going to get rewritten to where instead of it being Indiana Jones that went on all these adventures, it's going to be this new female character. And she's more or less taking Indiana Jones's life. Like, what? What? Um, And the other thing that kind of makes me think this could be a possibility, and it really terrifies me if it is a possibility, is the title, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So what is the dial we're talking about here? What if it's like a sundial, you know, an ancient clock, the sundial, and somehow this, this sundial has magical properties and it's able to time travel. Like, 
Could that be it? Oh no. So that that worries me too. Like maybe there's some kind of magical sundial that can control one's destiny and um it actually, you know, causes them to go back in time when they use it and they're trying to rewrite Indiana Jones's life to where this girl did all the stuff that Indiana Jones did and it's one big retcon. It's like that would be terrible. That would be awful. But I could see it happening. I could see there being some, um, you know, uh, Third Reich sympathizers that are left over from the war because obviously the the Nazis were the the big bad villains um, throughout the first three Indiana Jones films, the original trilogy. And, um, you know, maybe there's some of those people still left around with some of their descendants, sympathizers who uh, are looking for this dial of destiny to try and go back in time and rewrite history to where you know, the Third Reich wins or something. Like, maybe that's what they're after, and Indiana Jones has to prevent it. It does concern me. The rumors, the leaks concern me, and there's some hints here, there's some clues here in this trailer that kind of back up the rumors, kind of back up the leaks, and if that turns out to be the case, whoo, there's another character Kathleen Kennedy has ruined. First it was Luke... Han Solo, and now it's going to be Indiana Jones. And I don't know why we can't just get one more big adventure with Indy. Just th that's what this film should be. It should be his last hurrah. It should be the last great adventure before this man retires. That's what this should be. It should be the last great adventure. Don't need a successor. Don't need a continuation. Don't need a reboot. Don't need, definitely don't need a, re, a retcon with some time travel bull crap. No, 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 no. Just give me one last good adventure with Indy. That's all I'm asking. One last good adventure with Indiana Jones and leave the character's integrity intact. Are we going to get that? I don't know. There's some clues in this trailer that do back up the rumors, do back up the leaks. That has me concerned. Um, and then, of course, Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge of Lucasfilm, which is always a concern. Um, so I don't know. But the trailer looks good. I mean, the trailer looks damn good. It's one. It's honestly one of the best movie trailers I've seen in a while. But could that just be fluff? Could that just be eye candy? to hide a really bad plot and a really bad story. We're going to find out on June 30th. That being said, tell me your thoughts on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny down in the comments section below. Of course, the link to all of my social media will be down in the description box below. Uh, check me out on my other YouTube channels. Check me out on Rumble. I'll have links to all that down in the description box below. Uh, click the like button. Click the subscribe button for more content. And uh, click the bell for notifications. That being said, this is Jessica James with a Z, hoping and praying this movie actually turns out good. Probably getting my, my hopes up way too high. Going into this cautiously. And I'm signing off.